Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. Not by Scripture alone. Now, you know the cry of the Protestant Reformation was sola scriptura, you know, sola fide, sola, Scripture alone, faith alone, Christ alone. And uh, the Catholics have always said, that's no, not by Christ. I mean, excuse me, it's not by Scripture alone. And this is a book that says that. Now, sometimes it's been in my interactional line with certain Catholics, not all, but is that they tend to say, well, you're taking our words out of context. We do believe in Scripture alone. Well, there's a book done by a Catholic apologist, and Peter Kraft is one of the foremost Catholic apologists out there who recommends this book. And, and says it's not by scripture alone. And you can see the list of apologists, Catholic apologists here, who write in here. Even uh, somebody from the University of Dallas, which I found fascinating as well. Forward by Peter Kreeft as well. Queenship Publishing. Now I'm wondering if queenship has to do with uh, Mary, you know, Queen of Heaven. The Tabernacle of the Trinity, as they would call her in many circles. The, the thing, the biggest issue I've had so often in talking to many theologian Catholics or, or apologetic Catholics, like if I'd say Mary, Queen of Heaven, Tabernacle of the Trinity, they'd say, oh, we don't say that, we don't believe that, and then there's all these books out there that they do, and so... It's like, so and it's been that way with this, about not by Scripture alone. If I would ever mention in a video and say, well, the Catholic Church doesn't believe in Scripture alone, you get pushed back a lot of times and say, we do, we do, we do, until they don't. And so, and it's got the, the reason I showed you the Nihil Abstat and the Imprimatur is because this is saying that basically this is official Catholic doctrine, that this correlates with Catholic doctrine. This book is dedicated to Pope John Paul II. So what are the philosophical and practical problems with Sola Scriptura? I like how the book is set up. I haven't had a chance to read it all. I've just flipped through it some. But it's a very systematic look. Like he goes into um, different evangelical Protestant hermeneutics and saying that, well, this is what we believe, and then he would answer them point by point with some of the most lucid scholars and hundreds, if not thousands of years, over a thousand years of scholarship and learning behind him. So it can come across to the unlearned, so to speak, as very convincing. He's even got a section in here, does Scripture teach Sola Scriptura? And so obviously, and this is all in the context of the King James Version of the Bible, that the Catholics kept pointing out errors in Protestant Bibles. And so the, the King James was an attempt to have a Bible that nobody could say had an error in it. And that's overlooked a lot of times in the history of the King James Version of the Bible. So now you may believe like this, that you need the church's authority as well as Scripture. And since Scripture would have even minor errors in it, that you would have to have the church and the Bible to interpret Scripture. And, and sometimes it gets back to that, even in evangelicalism, that you have to have scholars to interpret. They know Hebrew, they know Greek, they know Latin, they know cognate languages, and that you can't just read the Bible and understand it for yourself. And it turns into a de facto like this. But anyhow, this is the Catholic doctrine of of uh, the church and scripture together is what forms doctrine. And then it turns out since the church has to be there, the church ends up practically being over scripture. And, uh, and so I don't believe the Catholic Church gave us the Bible. I don't think it was established at the Council of Hippo. I think according to 2 Peter 3, 16, 17, 18, that the Holy Spirit, the true church, always knew what was Holy Scripture. So not by Scripture alone, um, I would beg to differ. But I would still love Catholics. I still pray for them. And... Uh, 
you know, do anything I could for them as fellow people on the planet. So God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.